YouTube, what it do? It's your boy, GJ, thank you to man and Pete, bro. We got a subscriber request to vid, bro. Don't worry. I got y'all a Crazy Mills vid dropping soon. Y'all hit that like goal. But a subscriber wanted me to react to 600 pounds life, most heated moments, because they got this doctor on the show called Doctor Now, and he was telling me he's more savage than me. Like, Bro, like, I be I be trying not to get canceled, but Dr. Now, he telling straight up, he don't care if he get canceled, what he was telling me. So, I ain't finna make this intro too long, bro. So, y'all know. Let go ahead and let pee. By far, one of the best parts of my oh, nah, not this life dude, bro. is the show's bariatric. Dog, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is the only dude on 600 pound life I got beef with, bro. I seen a clip of him being rude to the nurses. He is the only person I've ever seen get kicked out of hospital for behavior, bro. He like, he literally like a big baby. Dr. Yunan Nazarian, or Dr. Now yeah. for short. This man Tell that boy Dr. Now. Episode of the show. They call him Dr. Now because he never overweight. Hear that. And their lives back. But the more goat. times than not, that requires a little tough love. And Dr. Now is certainly no stranger to giving hard hitting lectures when a patient is slacking on their weight loss. In mm -hmm. today's video, these kinds of moments. He's gonna say he's set up, but he ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. So, with that said, here are a few times where Dr. Now got heated. Uh oh. They do Before it. we get started, though, leave a comment down below. Who has been your favorite patient to have been featured on my six? Do I got a favorite life? patient, bro? Also, well, actually, don't forget to shout out that boy Sean for the last video, bro, who lost that weight for his grandma. R.I.P. Gam Gam. Subscribe to the channel. That way, you enter in to our monthly shout out giveaway. In his Where Are They Now episode, James develops an awful looking infection on his leg, as Ugh. well as having gained over 100 pounds in a single month. When it came to this couple, since he'd already had to lecture them over and over and over in James's original episode. So once again, Dr. Now lays down some hard truth for James. Go ahead. Dangerously enabling give it to him raw. Lisa, Pause. He calls Pause. Him out for playing games. <laughs> raw and uncut. Life, Just give it to him. Claiming over and over that they'll make changes while James's condition has done nothing but worsen. At this point, Dr. Now seems rightfully sick of them wasting his time and help. And mm -hmm. he makes it clear that he's through with them if they continue to lie and sabotage James's health. Is this how you want to live, James? It takes five people to lift you. No, it's miserable. It is miserable, but whose fault is it? Well, you know that. Five you people? That. Five Hercules? Five of the world's strongest men? It only takes five? Well, That's so crazy. Gonna make some more changes, but can you but, please? Lisa, I don't believe there ain't no regular you humans, said, bruh. You know how many times you say whether it is intentional or not is irrelevant because there's no argument. You're killing him. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. He's savage seven, for that. We met Mercedes, who struggles with her weight led to severe lymphedemia, as well as a dependence on her younger children for help. Uh, with nah, basic come tasks. on, bro. This probably be the people I don't like the most, bro. Seems to that like kids be having to take care of them because they couldn't stop eating. And at a checkup with Dr. Now, her weigh in revealed that she had actually gained weight instead of losing it. Mercedes' excuse mm. is that she had to order in food, which is ridiculous. <sighs> excuse. And, well, That's now an excuse. Is not impressed. He questions why she didn't just order healthy food and whether well, she now expects just him to leave, that salad. She lives in a no salad zone. Don't ask that There's them carrots. I know it's no excuse, but my cousin he left and we didn't get to get food before he left, so I had to order in. You spent two months coming up with excuses, mm -hmm. and the best you can come up with is that you're living in no salad zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why did she say yeah? What you live in an all you can eat zone? Every restaurant is a buffet. You might as well start recording the mukbangs at this point and make you some money on off the, the good eats. What do you mean, yes? Don't give me that. Right now, you're Don't give us that. 36 pounds. So you're dangerously overweight. 
Yeah, dangerously old. Yo, come on, After bro. Making very she got, bro, no way she said yes. Surgery, Penny's had some time at home to see if she can make some progress on her own. So she returns to the hospital for a weigh-in, and she's convinced herself that she's probably lost about 340 pounds. She despite can, the fact wait, that she still she can lost, wait. She can hold on. To the hospital hold on. Did, he say she convinced herself. How do you convince yourself that you lost weight? Did you lose it or did you not? To see if she can make some progress on her own. So now they got wait. Hold on. What? How long? So they got the iPhone. <laughs> the iPhone two. Oh, she returns to the hospital for a weigh-in, and she's convinced herself that she's probably lost about 340 pounds okay despite the fact that she still can't walk and has oh my goodness bro is this the five dudes they was talking about that lifted bro out the bed is this the five dudes i ain't gonna lie they must got some hidden muscle under these shirts bro because there's no way there ain't way it ain't no way now, Dr. Now has never been afraid to pull out some morbid reality to scare oh, patients man, what you to say to her, gang? about their health. And in this situation, he did just that. He straight up reminds her about patients just like herself, whose death certificates he's ended up having to sign. But this Harsh doesn't reality. exactly get through to her. Penny is so deep in denial that she actually tries to claim the scales were wrong at the initial weigh-in. She just mad the scale said cat when she stepped on it, bruh. You know it's bad when the scale starts speaking English. And although Dr. Now doesn't let loose with any yelling here, you he can don't even got to do your yelling. The scale did enough yelling for help Honestly, when she stepped though, on it. Honestly. It's probably a lot more soul crushing to see Dr. Now just walk away in defeat, telling Penny it's her life and her decision. Sheesh. Why is she? Be in the neighborhood of having lost about 340 pounds. 340. How much did she start out weighing? I just need to hold on to the front. What? Yo. Dude. Total weight loss, 35 pounds. I think you forgot to subtract the one and add the zero. Because 35 pounds is not 340 pounds. Shorty, not gonna lie. And you haven't lost any weight. You gain weight since the surgery. Yeah. Okay? Buku weight. Walking, Extra weight. Hello weight. You know how many people like you I signed their death certificate and later on? But at least she lost weight though. That's a W. You know, you gotta to celebrate your small wins. And I'm not getting past to you either. Lee failed to show up for his last appointment. Once we get to the weigh-in, though, we see that Lee has been playing. Look, some she got games. a little stank lunch lady face, bro. I hate, bro. Y'all know lunch ladies in school, bro. When you, bro, they always give you this look when you don't grab a fruit, bro. Every time <laughs> when you don't grab a fruit or don't grab a uh, 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 a juice, bro, or milk, this is how the lunch ladies always look at you. Tell me I'm lying. Well, Rena has dropped 50 pounds without even having her gastric bypass surgery yet. She, she going Lee crazy, has lost eh? Nine pounds since leaving the hospital, which compared to his total weigh-in of over 500 pounds is almost nothing. Because of this, Dr. Now gets frustrated with Lee and the two Lee, go better, back and better, forth better and lock in. in. Eventually resulting in Lee getting up and walking out of Dr. Oh, Now's I thought, office. Oh, well, I thought they, like, <laughs> I thought they was about to rumble. You play your cards right until you got the surgery. And now you're playing this kind of game and you think that's okay? How in the world does that That's who's final. I'm playing in the game. I throw up constantly. My problem is, is I'm holding a lot of fluid. I can't Holding fluid pee. or holding I mean, food? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? And yeah. you think that you're not eating and you're getting I don't want to get malnourished either. Malnourished? You look like you're malnourished. Nah, she look overly nourished, bruh. She putting on pounds like she prepping for hibernation, bruh. You're not a grizzly bear, buddy. <laughs> like, what are you doing? And whatever you're overeating, you're torn up. Okay, so first up is Lisa and her enabling husband, Hubert, who had about the worst sneaking skills I've ever seen. They didn't even bother to get rid of a leftover chip bag in Lisa's no. bed when Dr. Now was inspecting the infection that she Not the forbidden the Doritos of her weight. In the cool she ranch. Tried her very best to claim that it was Hubert who was eating them. Cap. But Dr. Now has seen and heard it all before. Oh yeah, we and heard it all. Of course, he calls them out. <laughs> nah. And 
doesn't believe any of their excuses. I did see a compilation this that said, shall I react to it, y'all? Hey, shall I react to a uh, patient sneaking food in the hospital, bro? Because I saw it before this video. Let me know in the comments I should react to the sneaking food vid. Calls out their lies and tells them straight up that he knows they've been sneaking food. Mm. Despite the couple repeatedly ignoring his attempts to help <laughs> the situation, Lisa is scheduled to see a therapist. Not even 4K, this is red handed, honestly. warns her that she'd better take that therapy seriously or her time is really going to be up. Here's a clip. Oh man, what happened? This is the junk you've been eating. Yep. This is why you're not losing any weight. Yep. Herbert is sneaking in junk food for you. And you two keep lying about it. Go to the left. Your time is up. You're going to die very soon. But both ah, of you don't seem to said, get that. No matter gone. what we do or say, hopefully the therapist will. And you will take that seriously. Because if you don't, then you're done. <laughs> Yo, right. You're done. When Steven arrives at the hospital, hoping for his fix of painkillers, Dr. Now isn't having any of it. Yeah, he he cancels Steven's insurance, telling him that there's Whoa. no hope for him. Nah, and nah. once all is said and done, my life he threatens to call security on like him. Like I said, I don't blame him, bro. Look, bro, look, I ain't gonna cap. No homo, bro. Bro, keep it a stack. Through this whole vid, Dr. Now has looked, I ain't gonna say fresh to death, but he doesn't look clean, bro. Look how much this man is stressed. Like, I didn't even realize his hairline was this bad. I don't even think he got this bad to start dealing with Steven, bro. Like, this dude yeah, literally got kicked out of the him. hospital. I remember. Yeah. No more weigh-ins and certainly he was no more ambulance rides. Steven, you've been taking advantage of the system for way too long. Honestly, this is probably the angriest Train them nurses like they were in Dr. Now on the show, and we certainly don't blame him for it. Steven just pushed, pushed, and pushed, and eventually, Dr. Now snapped. Here's a clip. There is no hope for you. Jeez. We're gonna cancel your insurance, and you're gonna be on your own. Jeez. You're not here for any legitimate reason, and you're not getting an appointment here today. Damn. Go buy your own scale and check your weight. I'm not buying it. Too much money. I mean, you're right. Because every time you weigh in, you got to replace another broken scale. Literally. Call you Max. Because every time you step on the I'm scale, it says stop. Max. They're going to threaten me and tell me the ambulance is not authorized to pick me up. You want to go to jail? No, no, sir. But they I'm are. going to put you in jail if you raise your Do they make sales big enough for him to go to jail? The police department. <laughs> like, yo, they gonna have they way with him in jail, boy. They gonna bust show doonies wide open. Huh, yeah, nah, nah. The jail would love to have him. I ain't gonna lie. What a Woody Warrior would love to have him. He better stay far away from jail, bro. But all that being said, though, bro, it's been another King's A 600 pound life vid, bro. I appreciate all the support. We gonna keep the vids coming, bro. Like I say, we making this December of December to remember. And all that being said, it's your boy King's Day. Signing out, man. Peace.